So Larry Bird coming down the hallway and he looked at us and he said, get some fucking rest. It's going to be a long week and walked off. And Ronnie Rogers said, hey, Larry, you ain't hit a jumper since 84. Larry Bird got the ball on Rodney Rogers. And every time he was about to make a move, he told him what he was going to do. He scored nine times or eight times in a row and said, young fella, look like 84, huh? Really quick, before I begin, if you guys can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, this seriously makes a huge difference to my videos and lets YouTube know to recommend this video to a brand new audience. So thank you so much for doing that, and let's begin. Talking trash to Larry Bird rarely ever ends well, as former NBA players Jamal Mashburn, Chris Webber, Ronnie Rogers, and the rest of the 1992 college select team found out the hard way. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports360. In today's video, we hear a classic story from former NBA All-Star Jamal Mashburn, when his college teammates took on Larry Bird and the Dream Team leading up to the 1992 Olympics. Sit back and enjoy. When we got an invitation, it was eight of us. It was myself, Bobby Hurley, Alan Houston, uh, Chris Webber, Rodney Rogers, Eric Montrose. Shout out Eddie Rodney Rogers, man. Shout yeah. out OG. Yeah. And, um, and Grant Hill was on that squad. So we get to La Jolla, San Diego, and we check into the Marriott. We go up to our floor, and we're walking in the corridor, and we see this tall white guy coming down the hall. And I'm like, damn, that looked like Larry Bird. So Larry Bird coming down the hallway, me and Chris Webber, and Larry Bird, you don't realize how big Larry Bird is until you stand at a bar. Yeah, exactly. That's a good yeah. Larry man. Bird, legit 6'10". Right. So he, he walked by us, and he says, y'all those college guys? And we was like, yeah, 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 we the college guys. And he looked at us and he said, get some fucking rest. It's going to be a long week and walked off. And we was like, what the hell? Is this Larry? <laughs> what y'all got us into? Yeah, I'm like, okay. You know, we like, all right, what's going I, on here? I wanted to say what's up. And he just gave <laughs> me like, just like, dang. Yeah. So the next morning we get up and we go to um, practice and Roy Williams is our coach. But we only got eight. So we like, well, how are we practicing? And what are we practicing for? So we spent, I want to say an hour doing the three man weed. And I'm like, what's going on here? Then they bus us to another location where the dream team is practicing. And these about 400 people standing outside uh, waiting for the dream team to come out. They take us up to a top floor and the dream team is practicing. They're finishing up their practice. And then they say, all right, get loose and stretch out. We're like, okay, we playing? They're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to play next. So we get out the gates. Like the first 15 minutes, we kicking their ass. <laughs> we but we running them all out. Bobby Hurley in the lane, killing John Stockton. So they stop the game and turn off the score. I think we were up like 72, 66 or something, 64, or something like that. They just stopped the game. So we like, all right, was this halftime or some shit? They like, nah, the press coming in. So we we um, lit they ass up and then something happened. We're sitting there and we get back to the hotel. Rodney Rogers says something to, it's a group of them. It's Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, everybody shooting the shit. And Rodney Rogers said, hey, Larry, you ain't hit a jumper since 84. Magic heard that shit. And we ain't think nothing of it. The next day we came in and I never seen this. And this one I was like, this is a different breed. Magic Johnson fed Larry Bird the ball probably about eight times in a row down court. Larry Bird got the ball on Rodney Rogers. And every time he was about to make a move, he told him what he was going to do. One dribble, pull up, going left off glass like, <laughs> one dribble going right spin shot bucket he scored nine times or eight times in a row left the court to go lay down because he couldn't sit on a bench he had to lay down because of his back. and said 
young fella. Look like 84, huh? And, <laughs> Last time he made. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow. I said, so that's 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 they kicked our ass for the rest of the week. All right, guys, that wrap up for today's video. I really enjoy these type of videos, hearing the old classic stories of Larry Legend. Even though he was well past his prime, he could still school these young bucks. Uh, leave a comment down below, guys. I'd be really interested to see what you guys think of this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Get some fucking rest. It's going to be a long week.